A few years ago, buildings like this started to appear. They're known as geodesic domes, and they're made of the same sort of geometric pattern repeated over and over. They're very attractive they are. They're made into glass houses and even uh, homes. Well, you can make your own, but to simplify it, I'll show you first of all on a model. And this is the simplest one I know how to make. It's made of triangles. First of all, you need compasses and a pencil, and you need to make yourself a circle. And it's very important to begin with to be as accurate as possible, because what we're making here is a template or a pattern from which we're going to make all the triangles that we use in the dome. And if you go wrong at this stage, you're going to have an error that keeps on multiplying. Then, having done the circle, keep your compasses at the same distance, put the point on the circle, and with the pencil, keep cutting it and moving the point onto each successive mark so that you go around like that, and you'll end up with six marks on the circle. And by checking, you can establish that they're all the same distance apart. If they are, you're accurate so far. Take every second one and join it. And you'll end up with an equilateral triangle. It's got equal angles and equal sides. And that's very important. If it hasn't, you're going to get a skew with dome that'll probably fall on top of you. That is, if you make one of uh, full size. There we are, there's the triangle. And just outside each of those lines, draw another one parallel to it. Not very far away. It's going to be the part that you use to stick the various triangles together. And there we are, that's the finished pattern. Well, you can cut that out, and in fact, that's what I've done here, to end up with the pattern I'm going to use to reproduce lots like it. And this is how you do it. You get a wad of cardboard, you'll need about 15 of these for the most uh, simple dome, put that pattern on there, hold it very steadily, and with your compass points, or something else, like a nail, press down through all the wad of cardboard, right at the points of the triangle. And that means you get a whole lot of triangles, all the same shape and all the same size. You can cut them out with their little flange on the side. But if you bend that flange up, like this one, you can see that you've got your triangle with something that allows it to be stuck to the next one over. Put glue along there, push them up together, point to point, and you'd have two stuck together. You can keep going either in a circle or in a belt. We need both a circle and a belt for a dome because the circle, like this one, is five. You can see that's flat, but if I join the last edges together, it starts to curve up and make a little sort of hollow. And that, in fact, is going to be the roof. The dome we showed you before, this one, in fact, is made of shapes just like that. Five-sided figures, each one made out of five triangles. Well, ours is different. That five-sided figure is our roof. We'll put that on the top. For the walls, we need a belt of ten. And in fact, that would be a belt of ten, except I've left one off for a doorway. You can see, though, if you curve that around like that, in fact, turn it over, depending on how you want your doorway, there are the walls, and the cap on top would be the roof. And I've got one made up to show you what it looks like in the finished form. There it is, a little geodesic tent. The wall of nine with the doorway and the roof of five. That might be a little hard to get into. You'd have to squat. If you lifted it up and slid another belt of ten underneath there, you'd have a geodesic sentry box, like that one. And you can muck around like that almost uh, as far as you want to go. Well, of course, those are too small to get into. Remember that the size of the finished one is going to be about twice the size of the circle you started with. Here's how you'd make one you could crawl into. Get a, a refrigerator carton, or several of them, or a washing machine carton, and for compasses, use a nail in the middle and a piece of string with a loop at each end. Then a felt pen will leave a better mark. Shove that in the loop here, make sure the nail's in the middle, and by going around like that, you make a very big circle indeed. Like that. And then, of course, all you have to do, once you've finished it, is to do what we did before, put the nail in the side, and mark off around the edge those six points. Join every second one, and that's the finished sort of pattern. We need a few cartons to make 14 of those, but each one will look like that with its extra line drawn. Cut off all these bits and with a nail scratch along there and bend the edge up and do exactly what I did with the model. And if you do, you can join them together, not with glue, but with staples or, as I've done it here, paper clips. The sort that push through there, you bend their little legs over and hold things tightly. And that's how you make the sort that you can get into. Well, I think I could fit into that one, 
but I'd have trouble squeezing into that one. But you're a bit smaller than me, so I think you'd have no trouble at all. Give it a go.